What is up everyone? Thanks so much for joining in today. So today we're going to be playing episode 3 of Let's Play Resident Evil 7. But before I do that, I got a little shout out to uh, two of my students that I teach at my local high school, Remo Vituo and uh, Miguel. So I think Miguel has a YouTube channel. Uh, I will link it into the video description. So if you like his channel, uh, please subscribe to him. Okay, so now we are heading down to uh, the basement of the Dolby Mansion. Now, I was going to call this um, Dolby Chainsaw Massacre, but it's pretty much overused, so I'm going to have to label it Louisiana, Texas. No, Louisiana Ch Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I did some playing of the game. Um, uh, let me go to my uh, achievements. You'll see that. Um, okay, it's loading. Yeah, just get me out of here. So that means that I did pass the game under four hours. And it's totally doable on easy. Um, just ignore all the enemies, uh, get the essential items, uh, ammo, and weapons, and herbs. And yeah, I did in 2 hours and 45 minutes, I got myself the Circular Saw, which is the best weapon in the game, uh, which apparently it kills uh, the bosses within seconds, especially on Madhouse difficulty, and X-ray glasses, which allows you to see every item that you have, including Mr. Everywhere statues and antique coins. So without a shadow of a doubt, I'm going to be uh, uh, choosing that one. So say goodbye to my ha my knife and my G17 handgun. I'm going to show you the Albert 01R handgun, uh, which is the best handgun uh, that you'll get in the game. Uh, circular saw, I'll take, uh, and I'll take the x-rays. Psycho stimulants, we won't need them anymore. Uh, just the x-rays, glasses are more than enough. The herb I'll take away. Uh, this I'll keep. This I'll keep and this all will move. So uh, because I did take an extra item, so expect me to go forth, go back and forth to the uh, item box. Okay, let's lock and load, gentlemen and ladies. Now we're going to go down into the basement, the creepy basement of the Delvey Mansion. Here we go. Okay, so I can see this is mold infested, so I'm pretty sure that we're going to get some encounters with the molded. Oh, and there's one now. Okay. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. <laughs> it's a nice handgun. Okay, so I'll show you how the circular saw works. So if you hold L2 and R2, you get like a thrust. Uh, which is essential and pretty good to use. Uh, okay, so let's go over here. We're in the basement uh, known as the processing area. So let's open this uh, makeshift door. And you can see some quotations here. So this means that, okay, got my 7th antique coin. That's awesome. <laughs> Got some handgun bullets, some herbs, more handgun, okay this is the processing area map. So you can see uh, how big the basement really is, it's pretty big. Okay this brings us to the other side. Treasure photo, okay, so this tells you uh, where you can get a certain item. I know where that is, that's the room where uh, we saw the crow. Herb. Okay, so the way to do this, I just press triangle, I go to my R1, and I can craft. Medicaid. Okay, let's go down here and see what we have. Shotgun shells. Oh, Mr. Everywhere statue. 
And that's locked with a snake key, which I don't have. Psycho stimulants, yeah, I'm not gonna need them. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what's here behind? Oh, scorpion key, nice. Okay, so this unlocks two doors. Uh, one to go out to the main hall and the next one to grandma's room. Ah, nice. Nice for you to drop in. Time to eat some saw. Ho 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 ho. Nice. Yeah, look at this guy. He's just chilling in the background. Hey man, what's up? I'm gonna get close to you and I'm gonna kill you. Say hello to my little friend. <sighs> Headshot. <laughs> Monster kill. I love it. That I mean, I'm gonna use this uh, uh, weapon. It's pretty badass. But I'll try to use uh, the weapons on the bosses. So I'm gonna put some items away because I'm apparently full. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna put this gun away. Anti coin, um, handgun bolts. I'll put away for now. Uh, lock pick. I'll need. So I'll put this herb away. And that's it. So you'll see me go back and forth to here. Okay, so I'll show you where that uh, treasure photo is and where to find it. And actually, I missed some items here. Like, for example, this. And then we're going to go here. Use the lock pick. Because we are the master of unlocking. Oh, nice. Six shotgun shells. That's good. And I can't believe I missed some shotgun shells here. So we're starting to build up some shot sh shoddy shells, which is important. Here we have steroids. Now what steroids do is basically enhances your health. So that means that your overall increase in health is uh, certainly appreciated and it's good to have especially when you're playing this on normal and ex exceptionally useful on madhouse difficulty madhouse difficulty is the most difficult uh, setting you can play in the game okay so as you know I'm gonna have to keep going back and forth and uh, that is it for now okay so time to get the shotgun shell. <laughs> shotgun shell. I'm in the shoddy. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is open this door up with the scorpion key. The scorpion! Riding like a hurricane. Okay, so this is the shoddy. Um, if you guys know Resident Evil 1, the original, um, there is a similar puzzle where you have to get a broken shotgun to replace uh, the one that is in uh, the statue's arms. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! You? You think you can hurt me? Oh yeah, I can hurt you. Oh, I'm cutting him up bad. All right, you don't like that, eh? Oh, you having fun yet? Oh, I'm having fun. Jeez, he's not dying. <laughs> Of course I'm gonna screw with you. Well, that took a lot of uh, damage here. Hmm. I like what I've done to the place. I painted it red. <laughs> okay, so I still have two more uh, places where I need the lockpick. Okay, and here I forgot. 
handgun bullets. This is where I'm going to use the scorpion key. And once you unlock the score, the scorpion key becomes useless and you don't really need it anymore. So in grandma's room, in grandma's room we go. We got ourselves some shotgun shells. Uh, nothing here. Uh, here's a letter. Dear Mrs. Baker, have you been feeling recently? It's been a long time since you came in for your last checkup. I'm writing to tell you that I finished examining your x-rays. Those dark areas in your cranium are fungus-like structures that seem to be related to mold. The hallucinations and noises you said you've been hearing may be related to these growths. If your symptoms are due to a fungal growth, it, it must be removed before it's too late. I don't mean to scare you, but I'm seriously concerned for your health. Please come to the hospital as soon as you read this letter. As your doctor, I strongly recommend you undergo further tests. Crawford Lang, Delvey General Hospital. You know it's 2014 and you're still writing letters? Like, haven't you guys heard of emails? Okay. Well, maybe that's true because I haven't seen a computer here. And then bullets here, burner fuel. Broken shotgun, okay, this is useful. And, uh, of course, I don't have room. I'm tired chasing all those shitheads around the yard! The next time one of our guests runs away, hide the dog head release so they can't get out of the house. Let's hide him like this. One, living room grandfather clock. Chick. The book in the recreation room. Chick. The dissection room in the basement. <coughs> so that means we have to get the one in the basement. And that uh, that tells you the locations of the dog heads. So that only leaves us with the red one. Okay, so let's get... Okay, and... Oh, he's gone, isn't he? Okay, so I'm going to go over... No, I probably won't be able to go through there because I don't want to meet up with Jack again. Okay, so going into our third trip. We're going to be coming here so frequently now that uh, I uh, took the x-ray out. Okay, burner fluid we'll take out. Uh, scorpion key we won't need anymore. Uh, I'm going to actually take off the handgun. We don't need it. Um, this I'm going to keep still. Uh, shotgun shells. Okay, that should be it. Okay, so. Let's get the shotgun. And I'll show you. Um, it's a pretty useful weapon. Especially when you're getting it uh, this early into the game. Okay, so if you take the real shotgun, guess what? Oh no, it's locked. How do I get out? Well, as paying homage to the original Resident Evil, you place the broken shotgun and the door magically opens. Open sesame. All right, let's lock and load. All right, so going to the scorpion door. Now, um, I did this game before, we'll need to get the dissection room key because obviously that is locked. Uh, many times I've spent in the boiler room trying to uh, defeat the enemies here, but you'll, you'll see um, there in a second. Okay, so the incinerator room is right around the corner, so we're going to go there. And open up. Strong chem fluid, which is good to have. Lucas, I caught the guy trying to escape. I've locked him up in the leftmost incinerator so he can't get away again. Take him out when he's ready. You know how to open a door, don't you? Just remember, three A's and a handprint. Do what you want with this girl. Okay, so. Uh, this is a puzzle with uh, six... Uh, doors. Uh, the middle one has a bloody handprint. So, ah, uh, you know, I'm trying to explain. Like, thank you for the interruption. Okay, 
moving on. So, you're going to open up this hand print and it's going to be empty. So now we're going to have to find three A's into the name. So we have Travis, which is one A, Lara, two A's, William, one A, Sean, one A. So I guess this must be three. Yep, Tamara, three A's. And magically this opens. Gunpowder. And let's see what's behind Travis. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so this is the second flavor of the molded. With a funky arm that reminds me of the good old days of Resident Evil 4 with uh, Jack Krauser. And there's a dissection room key. And now we're going to have to go back and dump some items off because uh, we are full. So let's go again. Okay, so this we're gonna put away. Uh, chem fluid will put away, shoddy shells will need, this will need, and that we can put away, dissection room key will need. Alright, so now we're going to go down to the dissection room and uh, see what we have in store, because that is where the last dog head uh, key is. Alrighty, so going down to the basement, past the mold. Moldy oldie. <laughs> oh, I forgot to check that door. Leads to the workshop and it's locked from the other side. Alright, I haven't seen here yet. Oh, there's something here. What do we have here? Handgun bullets. Ooh, piece of candy. Hey, nice. Eat blade. Headshot. Okay, gonna combine them. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. I totally did not see this guy coming. Okay, I'm gonna do that. There we go. want to get out of here. You don't want to stick too much in here because more molded come. And then they just disappear on you. All right, so time for a little cutscene. Isn't that the deputy guy? Man, he's certainly a shadow of his former self. Ooh, the red dog. I was gonna be your father. Now she says he will be her father. No, 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 no. I will find him and I will make him suffer. Okay, I think he knows I'm there. Okay. Shotgun shells. Okay. Let's go down. I think now we're in this dissection room. Oh, okay, more. Okay, so I got some shotgun shells. See what's behind there. Gonna combine it to so make a herb. Oh well, first aid kit. Yeah, definitely poor, poor deputy. Shadow of his former self. All right, so 
testing out the mechanics here. All right, so this is the infamous butcher room. Okay, we got the dog's head. I think now we're in the clear, guys. Uh, no, I spoke too soon. What did you do to me? Is that a chainsaw? Oh, what does he have there? That's ain't. It'll feel good. Ooh. Okay, that's good. God, he's so fast. Oh! <laughs> You've got yourself a boo boo! <laughs> got yourself a boo boo. Yeah, I sure did. And I'm gonna give you a bigger boo boo. Time to grow a pair, Ethan. Time to grow a pair to you, Jack. Whoa. So it's like Duke Nukem. Oh, nice. Okay, this is where Louisiana Chainsaw Massacre comes from. So you can see I have a single blade chainsaw and he's got a dual blade chainsaw. And he knows how to use it. Okay, so just make sure to use your thrust attack. And there we go. Nice. <laughs> and when that happens, you just pull the thrust. And he's just going to get as mad as a bee. Ooh, nice. I think I'm running low on on gas. Only one body bag left. Oh, nice. I got duck if you love life. I unlocked it. Achievement. Oh, wow, wow, wow. He's... He's almost like the Garador. This guy here. And stay dead. Yep. Okay, wow. I used so much of my medikits. Thank goodness I had some more. 
Uh, okay, so let's explore uh, the place here. More first aid. Uh, how am I doing in shotgun shells? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Okay. So. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Well, that sure became useless. And... Again, it looks like a steel. Oh well, sure can trust in your German technology. Okay. Take the shotgun with me. Just in case those people are back. By people, I mean the molded. Strong. Okay, looks all clear. Uh, anything I missed? Nope. Okay. Let's get daddle. Perfect. Uh, alrighty, that's locked. And make our way back to the first floor. Now that we have the red dog head, we'll uh hear someone. Can't shoot her. Okay, perf. Now that we got the red dog head. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> now we got ourselves out of the mansion. Woohoo! Okay, so what do we have here? Looks like part of the house. I see a trailer. I see a cabin. Another old house down yonder. Okay, so let's look at some stuff here before we get into it. Got ourselves a herb. We can combine that. Gunpowder, which is good to have. go back here we got ourselves a new, new gun well not a new ball well, sort of like a new gun a repair kit in case your guns break okay another herb Go to get the lockpick. Um, let's check the map again just to be sure. Okay, supplies. Okay, so I'll need the crow key for that one. Uh, okay, I know where it is. There's one right here. We could go. We can dump off some items on the way as well. Okay, is that locked? Yeah, that's locked. Lock pick. Nice shotgun shells. Okay, handgun ammo we can put away. Fur we can put away. This we'll put away for now. Repair kit we might need. Okay. So let's go back outside, we're just going to go check to see if there's any other items. I do believe there is another antique coin and Mr. Everywhere statue. Okay, this is a removing agent which cancels out your chem fluid. Gun 
powder. Mm -hmm. This is locked. Supplements. Oh, there's another lawnmower I found. Okay, this is a puzzle, which we can't do yet. Oh, there it is. Everywhere statue. <laughs> nice. Okay, now we're in Zoe's trailer. So, guys, if you look here, this is where the antique gun, well, the antique coins come into use. So, if you check here, uh, three antique coins will give you supplements, which... No, steroids, which increases the max health indefinitely. Your steroids, right? Your stabilizer will help you uh, reload your guns faster. And that costs about five coins. And nine coins here will unlock the 44 Magnum. So now we're at eight coins. Checking up here, we'll read a couple of letters. My body's feeling weirder and weirder. Soon I'll become like mom and dad. It's all her fault. Should I run? No, I can't. I'm dead if she finds out. That woman was, she was with Mia. She knows something. I, if I had the serum, I could cure myself. I had to find out more. Okay, that looks like Zoe's writing. Uh, um, okay, this is where you can watch some tapes. Um, oh, right here. Broken handgun. So all you have to do is combine it, repair it, and you get the M19 handgun. The very first uh, handgun that you get when you first fight Nia. So a separating agent can be combined with items to separate the chem fluid from them into a useful item, which uh, I don't think we'll need right now. Alrighty, so I'm just going to put away the gunpowder, put away the chemical agent, and putting down the antique coin. So I have nine of them, so I found half of them. And supplements put away. Yep, I think that is about it. So guys, I want to hope I want to thank everyone for enjoying to watch this video. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for episode 4 coming soon to a theater near you.